Now I will show you how to access the agent console where you can start and stop your agent as well as enter proxy server settings. So the agent runs on Windows as a Windows service, so you can always get access to it through the control panel in Windows. But we also have a console program which you can access if you ever need to restart or stop the agent. And it's also where you would go to enter your proxy server information if your company is using a proxy server. Um, so you can access the console from the start menu, uh, search for Informatica Cloud Secure Agent, and that should pull up the console. Uh, there is also an icon in the lower right corner of Windows. And so this is what the Secure Agent console looks like. So again, you can restart or stop the agent, and this is also where you would enter your proxy server settings. Also, the agent does write information to a log file, and where that log file is written, if you followed the default settings on install of your secure agent, it will be in your C drive, program files, and then a folder called Informatica Cloud Secure Agent, and there will be a log file in that folder called infaagent.log, which can be viewed in any text editor program. So if you ever do have issues with the agent, you should be able to go there and, and gather some more information to help you determine what's wrong with that communication. One last thing to point out about the agent is that when you install it, it does automatically inherit the access privileges of the Windows user who installed it. And the agent does need permissions to access directories on Windows. And typically this comes into play when you are doing lookups on flat files. So you may need to go in and reconfigure the Windows service. Uh, this screen shows the properties of the service where you can change that. And this is also documented in the community site as well.